Hey y'all, this is Jack McGavick, Technology Design Coach. In this screencast, we'll show you how you can link to different sections within the same page in Blend to minimize the amount of scrolling that students might have to do on a long page. Special thanks to Adrian Arroyo in Science for showing me this awesome trick. So you'll notice that this, this page from our blueprint involves, you know, some vertical scrolling here, and there's a worry that some students will not want to scroll so much. So what I've done, just as an example, is I can take kids directly to the learning choices section and I can take them back up to the top if I need to, just as a quick example. So how did I do that? Well, there's a couple steps. Let me show you. Um, it, it does involve messing with the HTML of your page. So when you when you go to edit mode for your page, you're going to jump into the HTML. Now what I like to do first is pay attention to where I'm going to try to link first. So I, I see that the learning choices is pretty far down. So I might, um, I'm going to remember that phrase learning choices. When I jump into the HTML, there's a lot here. It's much longer in HTML form than it is even just in, in rich content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my control F to find something and I'm gonna say learning choices when I type that it takes me directly to the spot in the page where that is in the code and what I want to do because what I have to do is create a little anchor at that point within the code that I can then reference in a link so I go to where it says h2 hit space and I write this phrase ID equals and then you can decide what you want to call this I would I'm going to call it choices in quotation marks okay now I'm going to jump back to my rich content editor and I won't see any change nothing looks like it's changed here it's just within the code and I'm going to go to where I want my link to, to go and I'll say Take me to the learning choices. I'm going to type out my, my linking phrase. For student friendliness, I'll make it big. And now I'm going to use my linking shortcut. That's the shortcut control K. And all I have to do is in the URL section, I'm going to write hashtag and whatever I called that anchor that I put there. And what I named it, if you recall, was choices. I'm going to type that. I'm going to hit OK. Now, I'm going to save and test it out. So I've read through my learning goal, my criteria. Now I'm going to, I want to hop down here. And there we go. It takes me right to that point in the page. You'll notice that I also had a little back to the top. So the way to do that is edit. I'll use the same process. I'm going to jump into my HTML, but this time, I want it to take kids back to the top of the page. So before that was an H2, H3, you'll see those header tags. P is just the paragraph tag. But whatever it is that starts out the, the section, you just put your cursor right after that letter or that H2, if it's an H2. Hit space, ID equals, and let's call this top. So I put that invisible anchor there. You can't see it, but it's there. And now, you know, the kids have scrolled a long way. I would like to easily um, be able to get back. So let's make that big. We're going to use our linking shortcut, Control K or Command K on a Mac. And remember what I'm going to put? Hashtag, and then I named it top. That's my anchor name. So I'm going to click that in there. Save to test it out. So now when I'm down here, take me back to the top, there I am. And anywhere that I wanted to do that, I would just basically, I could even just copy and paste this link into the other sections if I wanted links back up to the top. Okay, so that's a, that's a crash course on how to link to different sections within your Blend or Canvas page.